Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Hive Active Thermostat, going through the installation and my first impressions. So in the box, we have the thermostat, four AA batteries, install guides, the Hive receiver, and the Hive hub, along with the power cable, fixing screws, and ethernet cable. Now you can pay a little extra and have this system professionally installed by British Gas, but honestly, it's not that hard to self-install yourself. Plus, British Gas won't install the Hive anyway if you have an oil boiler system like I do. So I am gonna go through the self-install now, step by step, so you can follow along if you want. The first stage is installing the hub. To do this, you connect up the power and ethernet cable into the hub, power it on, and make sure the other end of your ethernet cable is going into the back of your router. Now once you do this and have the power on, you will see a green flashing light on the hub. This means it's setting itself up for install. You now need to wait for a second amber light to start flashing. The amber light means it's ready to connect to the receiver and thermostat. This may take 10 minutes or so, so you can move on to installing the receiver in the meantime. So the receiver will replace your existing programmer or timer. As you can see, this is my old timer. It's a Grassland Tyrocron QM2. Now you need to remove your old timer from the wall and see what way your system is wired up as everyone will be different. On my timer, I was pretty lucky as there was a wiring diagram on the back of the device which made it very easy to identify which cable was which. Now it is very important that you isolate the main supply before you start fiddling with these wires. And if you're not 100% confident, then you'd be better getting a certified engineer to do this for you. So once you have identified each cable, Hive provide a handy sticker set to put on the cables to label them, and I'd highly recommend using this for future, if nothing else. Next, you can remove the wires from the old back plate and unscrew it off the wall. You then simply screw the new back plate in the same place and fix the wires in the correct spots by following the wiring diagram in the Hive user guide. Now, you may be lucky, the back plate is compatible with a lot of common back plates on the market, so you may not even have to change your old back plate. So try it out, and if it fits, then you're good to go. You might just need to swap some of the wires around to match up with the Hive. So this is what mine looks like all wired up. I didn't need to use one or two as my heating system doesn't use them. Now that you have the wiring done, you can install the receiver back onto the bracket. It simply just clips on and you screw the little screw on the bottom and you're good. Now before you turn the mains back on, go check the hub and make sure the amber light is flashing. When it is, turn the power back on on the receiver and you should see the status light flashing amber. At this point, you can now test to see if it is wired up correctly by pressing the hot water slash heating buttons and then check if your boiler fires up as it should. And if it does, then well done, you've wired it up correctly. If not, then you need to go back and double check your wiring. So now that that is all done, all you have to do is put the batteries in the thermostat and follow the very easy on-screen instructions for setting that up. The whole setup is very easy to follow and if you prefer, you can just skip this and download the app and set your schedules from that. And that is pretty much more or less it guys. You just need to find a home for your thermostat and either mount it on the wall or purchase the stand for it. Everything now should theoretically be working. And if you are having issues with wiring, etc., you will be best getting a professional to take a look at it as everyone's setup is slightly different and some setups can be quite complicated if they're a little bit older. And the way that I've wired this and set it up may not be the same as everyone else. Now, I did have to set my receiver to gravity fed mode as that's what my heating system is. And my heating system basically only works when the hot water switch is also on to power the heating. So if you have a gravity fed system, to change it into this mode, turn the receiver off and then on again and hold the hot water button on the receiver down for a few seconds until the light turns blue. This now means you are in gravity fed mode and whenever you put the heating on, the hot water switch will also go on as well. So assuming you all got this far and everything is working, that's all that's really left to do is set up the hive to your needs, which is obviously different for everyone. I have mine scheduled for mornings and evenings, Monday to Friday at a set time, and the same on Saturday slash Sunday, but at slightly different times as I wake up a little bit later at the weekends. So if we take a closer look at the thermostat, you have the dial button which you use to navigate through the menus, adjust the temperature and so on. A back button, a menu button and a tick slash confirm button. 
Then on the top of the device you have your boost buttons. One is for hot water and one is for heating. To activate these you simply press the button and it will boost the heating for 30 minutes. And you can continuously press these to up the time of the boost. So say if you wanted an hour you'd press the boost button twice. So overall the Hive is very easy to use and set up. I find myself using the app way more often to activate boosts or edit schedules and things like that. And I really just use the thermostat to check the room temperature as I'm walking past it. And as someone who has not had a thermostat based programmer in my house before, it is very nice to have this control over the heating. And with how easy it is to install by being wireless and portable, I would highly recommend it to anyone who either has an old heating timer with no thermostat or anyone who wants the functionality of being able to control their heating remotely over the internet. So guys, that's it for this video. I am planning on doing a more detailed review soon, so let me know if you want to see that by hitting the like button. There will be links in the description where you can purchase the Hive, and if anyone has any questions, do drop a comment and I will try my best to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.